Yo, what's up guys, it is Seahawks Area back with another video, and today is part 11 of my Virginia Tech College Retro Bowl season. Last episode, we took down Syracuse 36-34. We are now the number 6 team in the nation, going up exactly 6 spots. We have to have a lot happen, and we obviously have to win out. And we have to just hope teams in front of us lose. Probably not possible, but oh well. We are taking on the unranked 4-6 and six Wisconsin Badgers this week. They have a 1.5 star offense, 3-star defense. We have the exact same thing. Um, unfortunately, our boy Brent is out this week with, I don't even remember his injury, but it sucks. So, we're going to have to be really reliant on Lopez to, to do stuff for us. Alright, let's get her going. If you're watching this on Tuesday, the initial day it comes out, I'm in New York. I'm pre-recording this on June 28th. So, fun times. Um, really a fumble on the first play. Are you kidding me? This running back is the bane of my existence. He gets training from 2022 Melvin Gordon. Um, I'm gonna be gone from Monday to Friday, come back Friday. Um, so if, if I feel confident in it, I will record a lot from my, uh, trip and mash it all together for, like, a little, little vlog. I used to do some vlogs in last summer, um. We'll uh we'll see how that uh, how that goes. I'm visiting the World Trade Center Memorial, what a catch, and the museum. Going to see the Statue of Liberty on a boat ride. Um, going to a Yankees game. They play the Reds, and I was gifted a little bag. Uh. As you guys know, I'm a Mariners fan, but just for the one time, for the one time, I will be repping a Yankees shirt. Not rooting for them, never will, but I'm wearing a Yankees shirt. I'm rooting for the Reds. I hate the Yankees. I will never root for the Yankees. Um, I just don't want to get harassed because I know Yankees. From what I heard, Yankees fans are kind of cuckoo to opposing fans. I have no idea if that's true or not. But, um, we'll see. Oh, I'll let you know, maybe. Going to a lot of steakhouses. Can't wait for that. Um, I think we're going to a dinner in the World Trade Center. So, that's awesome. Um, what else? Uh, we're going to this museum. I th think it was featured in the movie Night in the Museum. That was made in 2006. It had Ben Stiller in it, I think his name is. I had to watch it the other day. Um, I liked it. It was. I ain't gonna lie though. It was kind of corny, but Ben Stiller is a phenomenal actor, and he killed in that movie. So that's all that matters. I love Ben Stiller. Who doesn't love Ben Stiller? He's so funny. Come on, get in. Yes, take the lead. Um, what is that? I haven't seen a lot of Ben Stiller movies, but my favorite Ben Stiller movie is Dodgeball with Vince Vaughn in it. Such a, f oh my god, such a good movie. You know what, I might watch it tonight just for the hell of it. Okay, go. Should probably put all this stuff back down there. I have a clock in my desk. Here's, uh, here's the bag. 
It says I Heart New York. Hopefully, um, I will love it. Hopefully, I do. I already know I'm going to. Can't wait to have uh, street vendor pizza. Not having a hot dog because I absolutely hate hot dogs. The consistency, the mouthfeel, the taste, the looks. Disgusting. But if I get paid to try it, I'll definitely have one. You know, food tastes better when someone pays you to eat it. I've learned that over the past few years on myself. Come on, tight end. 17 yards to what? Two. Between the two and the three. Go, yes. You're making up for that fumble, man. I love it. Bingo. I'm supposed to have a box of cards arriving, so. Or before we leave. So. You'll get another card opening on Wednesday. If it comes in time. Uh, it's supposed to be here by 10 p.m. And it hasn't even said it's out for delivery. So. You'll know on Wednesday if I got the cards in time. <laughs> go, go bingo. Okay, never mind. He did catch that. It was bobbling for a second. I was like, never mind. But never mind to the never mind. Go Lopez. 12 yards. I like it. To the between the 40 and 39. That yard line. Go, go, go. Nine yards. Nice. We could probably fit one more play in. Yes, four yards. Alright. 40 yard field goal. Can you make it, Utah? Yes, you can. 24 7. This is what good teams do to bad teams. Gotta catch that Lopez. What the frick? Come on, yes, 17 yard touchdown. We're throwing it on Wisconsin right now. Boom. All right, they get three. 31 to 10, Neil. Go. So I started mashing together the shorts I post and put them on TikTok to make them longer than a minute so I can obviously you know get money for it when people watch it I made like half a thousand dollars in like two days doing that pretty sick I can't lie and soon I will hopefully be able to start earning some chatter on YouTube um once again, I think I've said this before, I'm not doing this for money, I'm doing this for fun. I don't care about the money. I mean, it's nice to have. Go, yes. Um, but I'm obviously not going to start getting a hot head if I start making money and being like, Oh, screw you all, uh, you're, all you're all helping me pay for college. Uh, I'm not going to ever, never going to say that. I won't, I have never let money get to me like that and I never will still gonna do this for fun but if I do start happening to make some money it's gonna go towards college because I leave for that soon September 21st is when I move in or the 20th I think I don't, I don't know anymore the day before Seattle plays the Dolphins in September which I think is a Saturday. Let me check. Uh, yes. It's the fourth quarter and I haven't read off any news yet. Because honestly, you know what? Screw it. It will be... You all will know the news by the time this is out. It's the 28th of June. So... It's kind of irrelevant to read news. Plus, I post news recaps on TikTok every day. Well, if there's enough news, that is. So just follow me there and watch it, I guess. I don't know. 
I have my Instagram and TikTok in the description of all my videos, by the way, if you did want to drop some follows. Be greatly appreciated. Alright. Third and inches. Let's get Lopez another touchdown. Let's go. We're about to know in a little bit what uh, what our chances are for the playoffs. If we somehow move down out of the top six, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. If we move up into the top four, it's a miracle. Our first loss, man, our only loss of now is really derailed our season up to this point. But hey, we're about to find out. If we still have a chance. Are you serious? Are, are you kidding me right now? Marco Watts. A hip injury for two games. How did we move down? How is Michigan? How is Fort Worth in front of us? I don't think there's a chance anymore. That's awesome. And update your cat Increase their catching, I guess. And at least Brent is back, so he doesn't have a quarterback to throw to him. And it's Boston College. They are 5-6 and six unranked. We are number 7. Check on the boys. 27-30, 351, 5 touchdowns, no rushing yards. 15 carries, 61 yards, and a touchdown. 74 carries for not even 250 yards with, with Maurice. In the 6 games I've had him. This has been a good receiving back, though. Brents has nothing, obviously. 14 for 226, three touchdowns. Next week, I mean, I don't think there's a chance we make the playoffs anymore, but hopefully we can beat the crap out of Boston College. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!